Welcome to the Commander tutorial. Today we'll have to take a look on Sunday Mall and Infantry Division. So, Infantry Division for GSF has a Lancer, which is modified, as you can see, modified IV. It's a light vehicle that is somewhat okay in taking out mules, but not really good against tanks or Omicrons because of the light armor. Uh, expanded crew equipment, that's interesting upgrade that no one really takes. I'll try to show you what it does. It can be situational and can surprise enemy officers. A marine combat armor is an upgrade that is uh, really strong. It can help marines survive much more damage and actually will be going for this upgrade and uh, use it. Uh, if you build an APC and purchase this upgrade, then you can have very strong marines that shake enemy officers uh, out of cover and can destroy tanks. It's very strong if you are facing some tank rush. Uh, QRF drop is basically, well, you can read what it does. Elite Marines can, dis can with upgrade, destroy enemy uh, mules and uh, power plants, so they are pretty strong. And uh, we have larger weapon squads that doesn't do much. And we have infantry weapon upgrade packages that those two are passive. And this one is really good because it just increases the DPS of your marines and engineers. It's really strong, so that's one of the main reasons you might want infantry is to win the early engagements because of this upgrade. Let's go. Uh, the early game is really important, so I will try to go a bit slower, explain what I'm doing. I like to delay my first barracks and go full economy. So at first I'll open the command review, take out all, take all my marines and go for the middle point, middle energy point. Use first engineer and put a quick armory here, another engineer that will go for this cash point. I will build many more engineers, uh, use those two field supports, one to go for this cash point, one to for this ammo point. Uh, this energy point and this ammo point they are very important, we can just hope we'll win this fight at the middle. Uh, we'll use the other engineers to immediately build two power plants and the other and the remaining engineers we are going to send them to capture all these points this engineer will capture this energy point now we'll use all these marines to support our officers in this fight hopefully taking out the enemy forces but the enemy forces already sent their scouts so it can be close uh, we'll use our engineer to build a quick armory right here We'll keep one engineer in base and the other ones will try to capture more points. These engineers will now go and try to lock down this ammo point. These two points are very important. Uh, sadly we have lost this engagement, we'll try to retreat this engineer but it won't be enough. Uh, by losing this engagement we have probably lost both of these points and the engineer. Yeah. But this, uh, this armory will stay for further, until further notice. Now. This guy can capture this. Uh, this engineer has damage, we'll try to defend for, for a while. This armory will drop, but it will be nothing. We have already more money for more armories. This is a good place to put an armory early because, as you can see, I'm putting three armories here already, and all those armories and are in the front. You should put armories first to the front, then to the back. That will help your engineer, help your officers get some defense. For now I'll use three officers here and Anchor will be supposed to defend this. Oh, actually I won't make him defend this location. You can put the armory up here but I've chosen not to do that. But already we have enough money for another power plant. Let's go. As you can see Envil beat they already they are already healing using this armory. Uh, hopefully they can manage against the other Envil. Beetle will hopefully heal. No. They've dropped suits though. And they have lost the second engagement. And they have uh, engineers. Couple more armories. Lock down everything we have. We need at least two more engineers in here. This engineer will be sent here. This one here. Armory here. We have already enough, uh, enough ammo to build another sent sentry gun here, which should prevent this ammo point from being captured. This armory will still hold, hopefully. We have two defense points. Uh, I need anchor to defend this place. Uh, 
this engineer, I'll hide him in case this uh, scout actually comes and destroys uh, these points. And now our first option, I mean our, our first target will be to lock down this point, put a barracks there. It's good to fa make the barracks face the other position so other people can't shoot there. We have Iron Guard in here, which is a bit unfortunate because... And some demolishers that managed to destroy our armory. Alright. Nothing's lost yet. We are building our barracks. Uh, the engineer died, but barracks are going, going to help us retake all this lane. As you can see, we are already losing a lot of points, but it's okay because, as you can see, none of the enemy health is captured yet. They've used most of their resources to build fabricators somewhere, pu push out this iron guard, uh, two iron guards, and attack over the left lane. But in case anything, in case more thing goes wro wrong, we'll still have our reinforcements earlier than the, than the opponent. The points are more important, or important at the start than The resources are more important than the... Yeah, I want you to capture this. This engineer should go there. More important than uh, just points. I'll put a Felon's crew there to take care of that Iron Guard. All of the other Marines, one should capture this. We don't need an engineer here. Look down this point. Another Marine will capture this point. We will capture this. Uh, anchor will stay here. Okay, good. Thanks, crew. Those moves are down. Let's use this and get get here. We have lost. Oh no, that engineer isn't there yet. All right. We can build another phalanx screw over here. We have enough uh, cash. Phalanx screws are great, uh, but they cost a lot of cash. But so is energy that you can actually use them to. Oh, let me like position this phalanx screw a little bit, so it can take out Kessler in case anyone attacks. And we have our first crawler. That's not good because I already repositioned my phalanx crew. Not sure where the crawler will appear. We have lost our phalanx crew, which isn't good. I did not expect a crawler this early. We can build our M logistics. We have enough uh, in energy. The crawler is destroyed at two. Wow! But anchor managed to get there, we can capture this cash point in the front. This armory will get a turret, it can defend this point, but well, as you can see it's not it wasn't been in time. Our energy income is full now. This is a problem. We have our reinforcements that includes another phalanx crew. Early crawl has messed up a little, everything a little bit. This engineer will be here to capture, recapture this point. This is captured too. Uh, I will actually this time build this lancer just in order to destroy this crawler. Or well, there are other options to deal with crawler. Hmm. Let me think. I'll, I'll just use the reinforcements. I'll need to line this up. Oh, this isn't good. I'll try to line this up somewhat precisely. In, oh my god. In order to hit him, use all my other units to get to the middle to prevent any shenanigans that could happen over here. I'll bet another barracks because those barracks might go down or might take a while to. It might take a while to destroy the scroller. And then only then I can build units not being destroyed by the scroller. But maybe maybe it got stuck or something. Let's see. Okay. It needs to go a little bit on the left. You can see that I'm actually moving it to the back also. That's because when you have a phalanx screw and deploy it right next to the place it, it was before, then it sometimes doesn't deploy. Yeah, this should take out the crawler. Uh, they have more demolishers, but perhaps some marines can take care of it. Uh, Iron Guard here. I've lost the barracks too. 
AI is somewhat, somewhat good, but uh, not to worry. I have time to take it, take it all out. All these guys, uh, some of them I will use to capture this point, some of them this point. Uh, the energy point has been locked, so we need to retake it, and we will. Not to worry. Uh, there is an interesting placement for a felling screw. That can actually... I think it's over there, yes. That can actually shoot on A, but uh, I think we'll go for something. More straightforward. There we go. One thing I should here. We can send one Mary into the back, just in case it man they manage to actually do something. Now, we are floating on, on every resource, but that's kind of expected. We will use them to build this infantry armor and to upgrade our barracks to go to tier 2. This felling screw should make a small dent into the enemy forces. Uh, along with this armory, we have retaken successfully this part. This isn't a good placement for barracks, but it's, it's kind of st still fine. There's something shooting at the marine. As you can see, I've foregone all entire of the, of the right lane and focused on the left lane a little bit. I won't be able to destroy that new yet, but soon. Uh, second infantry upgrade right away. We have the tier 2, we have already built armored logistics. Normally, I'd probably build something like AV or maybe even a Lancer to take it out, but I want to use pure infantry. Okay, that's the second crawler I'm actually building a Lancer. Iron Guard should be dead now. We shall retreat those units in order to face use the armories to face tank everything. Ah, this crawler. Okay, this is useless. Uh, what we are going to do is build another... Do we want another barracks yet? We do have advanced barracks, we want this upgrade that gives grenades to, to the other guys. And we have second reinforcements. Second reinforcements are fine. Uh, as you can see, our ammo point hasn't been contested that much. I actually built a few engineers to repair it. Just because. Uh, this armor can't see this iron guard, which is unfortunate. But Ugh! Crow goes back, why did, but I redeployed it because I thought it's stuck. Alright. We need some defense. If IV, they will use this IV to attack on the right side and use this phalanx screw to eventually destroy the mule that's somewhere out here. Okay, okay, this phalanx screw is already, I guess, destroy the mule. No, it was just randomly shooting. Okay, uh, we'll give Beetle. And anvil orders to upgrade themselves and use the combined assault of more for several forces. Uh -huh. Now, these echelon, scru echelon squads are very strong. I'll put one here. Beetle, I want you to upgrade yourself too. I'm using the attack move so they actually fight. Okay, we have some demolishers here, I need to target them. They destroy my. Okay, mules should go down soon. This IV will destroy the scroller if given in time. But those units are useless now. Oh my god. Oh, some of them has GPC now. Okay, let's put them to free roam so they can actually fight. It's hard to see, but. From here, because I have low settings, but there's a bush somewhere around here that helps cover this failing screw. It's not the best position, but it's reasonable enough. And you can see I have just I just really didn't need all of the extra resources because we are just fighting AI. But normally you, we need to build way more stuff and way quicker. So we'll go right straight into combat armor and merry armor, right? Mary, uh, and infantry upgrades right after each other, and now we can just spam infantry. We only need two barracks though. Let's put another one here. This point will be taken by, taken off. We've used two reinforcements to MS an army. We could have used um, most of those 
resources too. We can move forward, or retake, retake everything on the right line without support. Uh, let's see what kind of artillery this is. It's just MP. It's yeah, sometimes does this. It targeted this sentry gun, well, the other one that was there with EMP. And will target my IV with laser. Uh, don't let your units like that around the lasers. Okay, you can use this lancer to destroy this mill. And let's just build more marines. Need to spend all this cash, cash somehow. Uh, we have a lot of energy, so we can actually be elite marines too. They are way stronger. They can destroy, uh, destroy opposing mules. Maybe use them. Now, what you should do, and I haven't done, because commentary is actually harder than it seems, is you should all of your troops should be followed by an engineer, and you should use those armory, the armories to. Capture this point, get, uh, lock down those points in the front. Wow, unfortunate. And we are out of population. We can move this, this mortars a bit further. Upgrade those elite marines to ATRs. Now we'll actually put an armory here. I like this spot for armory because it's very well protected from this side, but not so well from the road, which is usually a big problem. And as you can see, we cannot build any more armories, so this is a simple solution. It's better to have armories up front than to have them in the back, especially if we are floating on resources like this. Uh, let's build some elite marines here too. A little bit more. Now all of those marines, they are upgraded, they are very strong, but laser actually kind of counters this. I want this lancer to die, because they, it just has too much of population. I want to build more marines, do a huge assault everywhere, on the opposing side, over here, and over there. destroy another armory over here so I can retake this point with my engineer. As you can see all of those elements are upgraded and they just upgrade the obliterate armories. Let's go further into the enemy territory. This is first to be reckoned with. Since we are so much in the lead, and yes, we can capture this point, but there's not much point, much of a point. You can just push forward with everything you have, including barracks. Uh, I use point defense here, and more armories. Be careful here because of the turrets, they are dangerous. Let's put another barracks here so we have. We can secure these positions. A building, uh, building, a building buildings on the front line is very useful against enemy officers because it takes a ton of time for them to destroy them, especially barracks and especially if you are fortification, but we are not fortification. So it's not the. Sorry. Uh, I don't want to destroy this armory, but I don't even want to destroy any armory, so I won't capture this point. All of them are front enough, and this one is important because it can defend this point. This isn't the best place for barracks, but it's good enough. And now we can just spam mines. Put turrets on these guys. Put more point defenses. Every point defense actually reduces your uh, energy input. 
income by two. So that's important to have in mind. The more point defenses you have, the less income you have. But point defenses are great because they slow down the opposing team. We'll take a two feeling screw here, two feeling screws here. Turret on this armory. Now, as you can see, another crawler, but our elite marines might should be strong enough to deal with them. Oh, we have lost that elite marine. Never mind. Uh, all the others can still use grenades. Okay, EMP on this armory. How did we lose this point? Wow. The opposing team has a tendency to send scouts just into the backline to every point that's not captured. So should be a good enough position. We can again move all these felons to further for up. Now we have lost lines. Lasers are not quite dead. Let's put another felling screw over here. Let's do two felling screws. I will use one in here. One in here. As you can see the fight is already over. It will be a little bit more tricky to fight Brutal because they have just so much more resources. Tank coming soon, Omicron. Yeah, there, he, there it is. That's why I built all of those. <laughs> one of our officers even had two Omicrons. One was from the reinforcement, one was the regular one. There should be some knights in the So nothing tricky with playing infantry, you can just spam infantry. I had a little bit of problem on the right side, but that's something that you have to expect, especially when fighting other players. And there we go. This is how I play GSF on Sunday Mall. Well, one of the divisions. See ya at the next video.